Hair. Hello. Oh, what is happening? No, what here? is wrong with this? this oh my gosh! Okay. No, we should be there. I. Uh, oh, oh no! So I think it's the clapper I installed on the camera last Why night. Why would you install a clapper? I don't know. I thought it would make it easier. Well, it hasn't, right? Oh gosh, guys, we need your help. So a clapper, you need to clap. So in order to help us to get back to normal, we'll count to three, and you clap, you clap as loud as you it can. Should, should help. Okay, yeah, you ready? One, One, two, three. three. Oh, oh no! No, no, That's no. Not quite this right is either. worse. No. Oh gosh! I don't okay. Like this. Uh, right. Okay. okay. Again, guys. Right. One, One two, two, three. Oh ah! no! no! Oh gosh! No. I, we should I feel be a bit the wrong way now. around now. I'm oh so gosh! Okay, ready? <laughs> Last time. <laughs> One, One, two, three. Oh, that's better. Oh, <sighs> welcome to assembly on, on the, the telly. telly. <sighs> <sighs> so in this assembly, we are continuing our theme of friendship. Now, last week, we looked at all the sorts of traits that people can have in friendships. But this week, we're going to look at one trait in particular, one that's really useful when being a friend. Loyalty. Yes, I wonder if you've ever heard the word loyalty before. Mm. Um, well, when someone has loyalty or is a loyal person, it yeah. means that they are going to stick with you and be a good friend no matter what happens, even when things get really tough, they're going to be your friend. I'm a friend. I wonder who you already have in your life who you think, oh, they're loyal, who fits mm. that description. Often it can be our family, the people who have a, a mm. home that are there with us every day. But who can you think of in your life who is a loyal person? Well, there is a really great story in the Bible, in the book of Luke, about some friends who were loyal to each other, even when the odds were stacked against them. Yes, that's right. Mm. So there were once four men who regularly helped oh. and took care of their friend who had been paralyzed and unable to walk for many years. Mm. They'd heard about this man mm -hmm. called Jesus, who was able to make blind people see, deaf people hear, mm. cure lepers and even raise people from the dead. Mm. We may have already mentioned that story before. We know that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And these men loved their friend and felt convinced that he too could be cured by this Jesus man and walk again. When they heard that Jesus was teaching nearby, they were determined to find him. They carried their paralyzed friend on a mat secured with ropes, um, one at each corner to a house in Capernaum where Jesus was teaching the people about God. But when they got there, there was a huge crowd so crammed into the building. Loads and loads. They were all listening and hoping to witness some of these miracles yeah. through which Jesus was becoming quite famous. Mm. The four friends tried and tried, but they couldn't get anywhere near to Jesus. Mm -hmm. This was quite disheartening for them, but they, they so far. exactly, mm. but they stayed determined to reach Jesus, and one of them had a very daring idea. Ping! Now in those days, most of the houses had quite a flat, flat roof, roof with stairs on the outside going up to the top. Mm. And each of those roofs was usually made of a thick coating of mud with straw on top. Thank so it wasn't exactly the strongest thing. Mm. And their plan was to get up onto the roof and scrape away at that straw Ooh. and that mud to make a hole big enough where they could lower their paralysed friend down yes. right in front of Jesus' feet. Yes, so they were pretty much had a plan. They did, they, they were, they were ready, do. they, they yeah. knew what they were going to do. And that's exactly what they did. Jesus was very moved by the trouble that these four men had taken and knew that they had complete faith in his ability to heal their friend. So Jesus said to them, my friend, well, the guy who lay before him, my friend, your sins are forgiven. Pick up your bed and walk. Now the crowd watched in amazement. Some of them had known how ill this man had been. Yes, and as they watched, mm -hmm. as the feeling started to come back in the man's once useless yeah. legs and feet, he began to slowly 
get up. <gasps> he got up, he stood up straight, he picked up his mat, and he started walking out of the building. And as he walked, he thanked Jesus and praised God for what had happened. And if it wasn't for that man's friend's loyalty and determination, then that man would never have had the chance to be healed by Jesus. Pretty amazing, right? So cool. I love that story. And some of these traits in friendship shine through and are so important, like loyalty. While we can enjoy playing with toys and playing football with our friends, being loyal, like the friends in the story today, is one of the most powerful things we can do for our friends. That idea of sticking with them no matter what. So maybe this week we could all make the effort to be extra careful, to be on the lookout for ways we can support our friends. It may be a bit different, especially in the situation that we're in now, but we can be creative no matter what the situation so that anyone in your school or at home with us will know what it's like to have a really good friend. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to be in the same place to no. be supporting of your no. friends. You can be supporting of your family and those who you are with, and you can, you know, still find ways to support your friends. And be loyal. Exactly, mm. exactly. So, we're going to finish off with a little bit of an activity, which if you'd like to, you can try can at give home. this a go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know if any of you are familiar with a game that I used to play in the car yes. all the time when I was a kid, called In My Suitcase I Would Take. Okay, yes. and what happens is, one person will go, in my suitcase, when I go on holiday, in my suitcase, I would take, and then they'd say something beginning with A, a. so like an apple. Mm -hmm. And then the next person, so Rachel would go, in my suitcase with me, I would take an apple and a beaver. Yes, and so on. So but we're going to do that, a, B, C. but with friends. Okay, so yes. we're gonna, shall we start it off and yes. try a couple? So I might say, for instance, with the friends I have, a good friend should be A, awesome. Ah, oh, I okay, love that right. one. So something Brilliant. that you think a good friend would be. And if I carry on, with the friends I have, a good friend should be A, awesome, B, brave. Brave, oh good one. Yeah. yeah, and see how far you can get through the alphabet and remembering them as you go along. Exactly, so you, if you can make it all the way to, to Z, Z, like well wow. done, because that's nice hard. Job. See how far you can make it, each time you have to say all the ones before it and then add on one more for your idea to be added on. Okay. And you already know the one for L. <laughs> well, you can use loyal or maybe come up with a different one. So have fun with this little activity wherever you are. And we hope you enjoyed this assembly and thinking about the topic of friendship and loyalty. Yeah, so remember, stay nice and loyal mm -hmm. this week. You know, find those ways to support each other. Until next time, we'll see, we'll you, see you again. Bye! Bye.